Want to see Taiwan without having to deal with all the crowds at its famous attractions? On this trip to Taipei with Scoot, I enlist the help of Taipei's locals to show me some secret sites and amazing food in the city for a one-of-a-kind solo travel experience. We're all suited up and we're gonna go for dinner. We're here at a place called Jingda. Uh, the local part here is like super amazing food. No tourists here because this is a place that the locals know about. We are off to our second destination now. We're going to Yangmingsha. Uh, in front of the cultural university. And behind me, you can see, is an amazing night view. Well, I've been looking for night markets in Taipei which are not so popular or famous with tourists. And Nanzi Chang is supposed to be one of the really good ones, really local. Delicious food and the sui jiao here is really good. And the South Bing Uncle has a really long queue. So I'm here at the Treasure Hill Artist Village and it's one of the most interesting art spaces that I've seen here in Taiwan. Places like Hua Shan 1914 and Songshan Cultural Center have become a bit more well-known and commercialized. Meanwhile, Treasure Hill still remains very organic. There's art around every corner. It's easy to get lost here, but it's really fun to do so. It's called the 4 4 South Market. And every weekend on Saturdays and Sundays, they set up a flea market. Uh, and this used to be all military buildings, so you can actually walk around a little bit. Uh, Instagram has loved the place because it's got that whole uh, hipster old thing. And it's uh, still fairly under the radar, so we're checking out. We are here in Jodie's kitchen, actually cooking in her kitchen. It's a cozy place and we have a lot of good conversation. We're talking about the food in Taiwan and how, how it compares to Singapore. And we are finally ready to eat! Yay! Thank you, chef, for the good food! Yeah. Check it out, that's our spread! Ah, oh, it smells so good! I can't wait to get started eating! <laughs> 